My confederates and I have been talking a lot about making movies. It's kind of like um, Seven Brides or Seven Brothers, Petticoat Junction, Green Acres, and Bonanza. We have generated a lot of interest. Interest in the sense of people being interested in seeing the end product. We're gonna shoot a submarine movie in a field. And there's two men and one lady. It's like this, it's like Gilligan's Island in a submarine in a field. But they don't know she's a lady because they're on a submarine. She snuck into the service, pretending to be a man. So we're gonna go to a field, we have a whole bunch of props and shit. We're not gonna have a script, we're not gonna have much of a very good idea of what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna run around like crazy, we're probably gonna be some like Benny Hill music. Uh, then you bring all the footage back, hopefully hundreds and hundreds of hours. And even though it's a three man submarine, they still don't know. They don't know. Maybe they're not too smart. Maybe she's just extra crafty and wily. What's that? It's the bottom of a pan. You try and make sure there's not extra noise. To interfere with a recording quality. We have these other stories. It's like uh, the Dursey Bruno story, starring Mark Rebo. That's all I have to say. And the Mark Rebo story, starring Dursey Bruno. <laughs> So one thing we haven't talked about is anything having to do with Chuck DeGuida.